Hi fam, how are you? We have another tarot reading this week and it is all about what is coming for you within the next seven days. So we have three paths for you to choose from here and then at the end of each reading I actually have channeled messages for you from my spirit guides <clears throat> through done through automatic writing. So we have three piles here. I will give you a moment I'll give you a close-up of each pile and then you can pause the video to take a deep breath in and to meditate on which card, on which pile that you like the most. <clears throat> so we have the purple grape flavour here, the strawberries and cream lollipop and the lemonade flavour. So I will give you a quick close-up of each. Got group one there, group two... And then we have group three, the lemonade. I will post the timestamps below to pick from each pile. Okay, so we have group number one. What have we got in store for you this upcoming week? Let's have a look. I always love to shuffle on camera to where all the magic happens. Two cards there and we'll get one more oh get that one actually i'm feeling that one as well okay let's have a look at these four cards <clears throat> okay so we have ten of swords ten of pentacles which is always a good card so is the three of cups and then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so let's have a look at these properly. Okay. So what is coming up for you in the next seven days? Let's push that over there. Okay, so I'm feeling like in the next seven days, you may feel a bit defeated here with the Ten of Swords. There could be someone that... Um, has maybe talked behind your back or you're feeling like someone didn't have your back, which is kind of the same thing. Um, you're almost feeling a betrayal in some kind of way. But just, just to let you know, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, whoever has done you wrong in the next coming week, don't even worry about it. Don't stress about it. Cut your losses because you have... So, so many more people in your life who add value, who create a family atmosphere for you. They are people that, um, th these people in your life are the real true friends and family in your life. They will support you through everything, no matter what. I feel like you have found your soul tribe. I feel like you're going to go through some kind of reflection in the next coming week about how this person has actually made you feel and that's going to really appreciate what you actually have and the other people around you. This person is not really serving your highest good. Cut your losses. They don't they don't have your back. They're not really there to support you. They've kind of, they're kind of in it for selfish reasons whether it be a relationship, a friendship. I am feeling more of a friendship than anything else, but you just have so much more support around you. You don't even need that person in your life okay you may have times where you doubt the people that like you kind of you want this other person that has betrayed you in your life the nine of swords and you're kind of contemplating on bringing them back into your life but I'm really getting that this is not a good idea it's just you having a one of those um moments where you're just having a low moment or a low day where you just rethink everything and then maybe feel like maybe you shouldn't have cut that person out of your life but I'm telling you stick with your guns know what you are feeling in your heart know that this person isn't good for you and it doesn't like if this is a relationship or maybe this is your best friend that you thought was the best friend but actually isn't you may feel alone and lost 
but it's okay because you have so many people other people around you who actually are supportive who actually do care about you especially family like you just have a lot of support around you this best friend or this really close friend of yours wasn't a friend you can't be calling them a friend if this is the type of things that they are going to do behind your back so don't even worry about this person be careful with your low moment and they may even try to with the bird here the bird is all about communication right there so this person may even try it being a close friend of course they're going to try and come back to you and try and talk to you and smooth things over and apologize but you really need to stand your ground and know who really has your back and who doesn't and cut those losses okay this person isn't good for you they are holding you back they you're not going I feel like they are holding you back in some kind of way and when you let go of this person it's going to be an energetic release you're going to feel free you're not going to feel like you have to tiptoe around that person anymore and you can just fly off and go and do what you need to do to become successful, to feel good with within yourself as well. Okay, so I'm going to get some other cards for you. Okay, what is it group? I need to know for next week. Go with the flow. Love that for this reading. Archangel Gabriel, messenger of creativity and hope. Yeah, that is amazing for this kind of reading. So go with the flow. Go with what the universe is telling you to do. Cut those losses. Cut that friend. That friend has betrayed you for a reason because they are not for you and the the universe is trying to tell you something. It's like this person has a reoccurring betrayal. Like they're constantly letting you down. And the universe is really trying to tell you to cut this person off. Cut the cords with this person. Let things happen the way it needs to. And then Archangel Gabriel, messenger of creativity and hope. <clears throat> See, you have all of this support around you you have so many people who actually care for you who actually do have your back so don't even worry about this other person okay they're not for you i know they're your best friend and you've been friends for 10 years or throughout high school you've been through everything together thick and thin but this person really isn't the person for you maybe you have all of a sudden grown grown up and they haven't so they may have been good for you back in the day and you may have, you know, your immature fun with them back in the day. But now you're getting older and you just don't really want to be that person anymore. They constantly talk to you behind your back. They let you down. They may even degrade, like have like sarcastic digs at you and kind of put you down. But they do it in a way that... They laugh it off, so it's a joke. Um, and it's just, it, that is not good. Not good. I feel like that, this card is telling me something. <clears throat> Double mission. Lightworker Starseed, serve the world by being you. Perfect. So as I said, this person is bringing you down, this card, this person is bringing you down in some kind of way. And they're not really, they're holding you back to who you truly are. Like even the way they, the conversations that you have with this person just isn't you anymore. Might have been back in high school or, you know, maybe you've just had some sort of awakening. And now like for the past like couple of months, you've realized that this just isn't the type of conversations you want to have. You're actually finding it quite immature and it's just not you anymore. So Serve the world by being you. You need to start being happy within your life. Because <clears throat> that way you can better serve these other people just by being you, being the best version of you naturally. 
will bring these other people closer um, together with you. So we have a portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards, wild cards. So you decide. You decide if you want to let this person that's bringing you down back in. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you're not going to have those new doors opening up for you. You're not going to be able to upgrade your life. This person's always going to hold you back in some kind of way because you feel like you need to tiptoe around them. Okay, so it's your choice. Activated earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Again, trust your gut. Go with the flow, let things happen. Okay, the universe is trying to tell you that this person isn't for you and you may have kept going back and back and back over and over again. This is the per this the universe is going to force this person out of your life. At one point, you're going to get sick of it and you're like, I am done. Let that moment be now before they do something else. Okay. Let's get some self-care cards, hey? And then we'll do one more um, oracle deck and then we'll get on to your um, channeled message from my spirit guides. I'm so excited. Alone time. Perfect. Reflect. Okay. Reflect on the kind of people you have around you. Know the kind of people that you want in your life and know the kind of people you don't. Know what people you resonate with. Know what people you don't anymore. I feel like this is you now growing up. You're not that imma immature person back in high school anymore and you're just not vibing with the same crowd you did, okay? I feel like this is an absolute turnaround for you. Yeah, you're starting to mature and just really cutting your losses. Awesome. <coughs> Sorry. I love when cards fire the deck. This is why I shuffle on card. Uh, sorry, on card, on camera. Eye of the Horus. The Eye of the Horus brings divine perception, protection. I got this one in my last reading too. The Eye of the Horus brings divine perception, protection and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that are awakening and growing. See, amazing. You've come to like this turnaround point in your life and you're now seeing things in a different light, in a different um, perspective. And now you need to protect your you need to protect your energy. Now you need to protect your boundaries. Have boundaries so you can grow as a person. You have much divine support. Oh my goodness. Support. <laughs> These two cards. Um, you have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Exactly just as I was talking about. See, oh my gosh, I love this. I just love when cards fly out of the deck. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. So, as I said, the universe is telling you something. The universe is telling you that this person is not supposed to be in your life and it's going to keep giving you these signs until you get it until you learn that lesson it's going to keep giving you the same lesson in different ways until you get it okay flower of life <clears throat> you are entering a fertile period of your life oh my gosh i love it a fertile period of your life so that means that you are now going through a growth spurt okay um, yeah, you're going through a growth spurt now. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control of how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. So as I said, cut your losses because this person is holding you back from what you can create. It's holding you back from your creation, what the universe is actually going to give you willingly, okay? Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow. Go with, oh, go with the flow and let it happen. Let, oh my gosh, look, go with the flow and let it happen. Go with the flow, let things happen. Oh, I love it. Now is the time for your blossoming. Oh my God, you guys. Gosh, I love this reading. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now. Yeah, so you get it. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't explain it any more than what I have. <laughs> All right, let's get on to your channeled message. So this is, I do automatic writing. So my guides write through me for what you need to know. It can be from one word to it being a whole paragraph, okay? Okay, so we have retain enthusiasm. Sorry for my writing as well. <laughs> I just quickly write as it comes to me. Retain enthusiasm of this, as this will invoke you to do more in daily life. Play music, have fun, do things that that's meant that's meant to be inspire you to better than ever before. As the sun rises, begin your day with affirmations. As the sun goes down, watch the sunset and state gratitude. Love yourself enough to let this person go, whoever's in your life that's not doing you well, and surrender to yourself. Start loving yourself. Start thanking the universe. Start saying your um, gratitudes and your affirmations and let the universe hear you that you are ready for your growth. You are ready to bring what the... You're ready for the next step in life, okay? You're going through a massive growth spurt right now. And start listening to the universe, guys do it. I feel like the universe has been telling you for a long time and now you've just kind of come to this realization of not vibing with the people that you normally would vibe with. Cool. All right, group one. So that is your reading for today. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. It would be highly appreciative and I shall see you in my next reading. Bye. Hey, hi, group two. Let's see what the next seven days has in store for you. And then we'll get to your channeled message through my spirit guides at the end of the reading. Okay. That there. Okay. So what is it that group two needs to know for the next week? What is it that group two needs to know for the next week? What is it that group two needs to know for the next week? Okay, let's go with these cards. <clears throat> okay, so we have Ten of Cups, Justice, Nine of Wands. Okay, what are these cards telling me today? Okay, so I'm thinking there might be a bit of family drama going on possibly. I feel like there's a lot of strong energy coming from these cards. I feel like it's actually quite similar to group one. So with the nine of wands here, you're feeling on the defense. Okay, I'm feeling like something you find was a bit... So, so coming out of the next seven days, I'm feeling like um, that... I'm feeling something wasn't justified. Something's not justified in the next coming week. And you're getting defensive. I'm feeling like this person isn't being fair. I don't feel like... There is fairness in this situation. And I think it has to do with a family member. I feel like there's been something that has been playing on your mind and you kind of want to just get it out. Maybe it has to do with, um, with study. Actually, I want to get one more card just to get more clarification on what is going on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just as I thought. So you got the hanged man. So I really want to put that in there. All right. So there's something going on with a family member and I feel like it's not justified. You would definitely have a different perspective on the situation than what they do. You don't feel like something is being fair. I'm feeling like maybe there is a sibling that you feel like is getting more attention than what you are, the focus is more on them than you. And you're really trying to get um, your, your side 
spoken out and you're really yeah I feel like something's been unfair in this situation and yeah you different you definitely have a different perspective of the situation than what this other person does and I feel like it's something that has been lingering and I feel like there's maybe been here and there a little bit of like an argument or comments made within with a family member and you're just kind of getting sick and tired of it and now you feel like it's going to be brought up. I'm feeling like you are, you feel the need to bring it up this week and just um, talk the situation out, have <clears throat> listen to, have them listen to your perspective and how it is that you're feeling and have a listen to what it is that they're feeling as well because I feel like both you and this other person are going to be, are going to get defensive on your viewpoint of the situation. Okay, something's going to come to light for the both of you and it's something that just needs to be sorted out there and then and then move on from it. I'm going to get some oracle cards out. Oh, we have two already. Amazing. Leadership. Set your goals. Love it. And we've got potential. Think big for your future. So I feel like it's something that is quite big that is happening in your life. Maybe it's your hobby that you feel like your family really isn't supporting you in, is not coming to watch you and what you do and the attention is more on the other siblings or whatever it is and you know you really want to let them know that this is important to you it is really important to you that you have their support that um they are involved in what you are doing and it could be simply as just asking how you're going with it you know what is it that you're up to now and whatever it is that you're doing have that support Really shine your light on the situation. Make yourself known. And then we've got potential. Think big for your future. So this is definitely something that is important to you. It's really important to you. It's something that's really big in your life. And you need to have that family support. I'm really thinking it has to do with family rather than friends. Definitely. I feel like you do have your friends supporting you. But it's really the love of your family that you truly need right now um to help maybe guide you even maybe you're at a crossroad with a decision within what you are studying or um maybe it's dance that you're doing so maybe you have a decision to make about dance or whatever it could be um and yeah you really need the support on the decision that you're going to make because it's potentially going to be it's potentially going to make a huge difference in your life it's like a make it or break it situation okay we'll get some more insight for you these first two groups um it's quite heavy this next coming week there's a lot that's going on okay what's going on for group two Harith, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Yes. So you are really feeling homesick. Like you really just want your family to be around you and to support you. Oh my God, that makes complete and utter sense with everything I've just been saying. Because whatever it is that you're doing, it does like, this is you. Like this is what you're going to be making of yourself. And so you really need, like, it, your support of um, friends is different to family. Family is, it's very highly important that you receive that love and, you know, have that attention focused on you sometimes. The Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. So, <clears throat> again, what it is that you're doing, it's, this is your personality coming out and what you do. This is who you are with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve again I said maybe like dance or acrobatics or whatever it is that you're doing it could be in the field of like law with the justice card here 
you could even be studying law um so like it can literally be anything starting a business it anything but this is your life this is so extremely important to you that big things are happening for you and you need to have that that um being have your family you want your family to um just have to focus on you a little bit i'm trying to f find the right word but it's like you want to f this is it you want to feel like you're being known okay this is big for you it's huge and you want to feel like your family is there for you and watch you excel in what you're doing like this is exciting this is so exciting what you're doing you are you are achieving great things and you deserve to be known for it you deserve to have that um compliment that um just comments in saying how well you're doing that they're proud of you that's oh my gosh okay i've just found it you want you want them to be proud of what you have already achieved okay and what you are achieving let's get some self-care go for this one spend time with friends so <clears throat> in the retrospect of your family i feel like your family not being there for you as much as you need them to be you have your friends as i was saying the support of your friends is definitely different to your family but having them there makes all the difference as well oh we've got one for me. Oh, this card deck the goddess isis deck i love it it is like the deity deities of this deck it, the cards just fly out every single time pyramid of light psychic protection as a being of light darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress oh my gosh <laughs> so this is the non-support you are getting with your family they are the darker energies they are the ones that are bringing your de bringing you down because they're not giving you that love they're not giving you the compliments that you need there is nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience the pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interfere with your path so exactly these energies these people um you're wanting acceptance from are interfering with your growth with um it's interfering with the high vibe energy of what makes you happy and now it's time for that interference to cease completely through loving divine power so bringing it bringing it up with your family of how it is making you feel oh i love it tempest of lapis lazuli your soul is very ancient and holds the wisdom of star peoples from civilizations with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a culture based in fear to a loved based community. And this is talking about your friends. You are here on this planet to be you to the fullest extent possible. Then you will help heal human culture so that the planet may thrive. So you definitely need to keep doing what you are doing because through what you do is other people's you are helping other people in your own way so you are push through this make it aware but keep doing what you are doing because you are going to be changing people's lives doing what you do in some kind of way it could be like in the most subtlest way that you don't even realize you're making a difference to people's lives but you do okay so i think we'll get to your channeled message now so this is i did automatic writing with my guide so they wrote through me and this is what your message has to say so i actually wrote this before the card reading okay so i've completely forgotten what it is that was written be more spontaneous this keeps life less serious it is okay to plan things ahead of time but Less loosen the corners in life. Embrace the joy around the corner and fill yourself in the unknown and possibilities. So you don't have to always know what's ahead of you. You don't always have to know what's going on that weekend. 
you know, let loose a little bit. Allow things to just happen the way they are. When, when a friend or a family member says, hey, let's do this, go and do it. You know, I feel like you're so passionate about what it is of who you are becoming and what you're studying and whatever it is that you're doing. You just need to have some time to yourself. And if your friends say, let's take a road trip this weekend, go on the road trip because it will refresh in your mind. It will allow your stress to be released. Okay. And then you can come back with a fresher mind you know, different behavior and you'll come, you'll just come back refreshed. Okay. So yeah, be more spontaneous with your life. Go, go with the flow and yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's all I have for this reading. Um, so I hope this resonated and I hope you got a lot out of it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. And if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, group three. <clears throat> okay, so we have the lemonade flavor lollipop. So let's see what your next week has in store for you. And then we'll get onto your channeled message at the end of your reading. Okay, so what... This group three need to know about the next coming week. What does group three need to know about the next coming week? All right. Oh, that's a nice card to get. The six of cups. That's a bit more lighthearted than than the other two crickets. <laughs> okay. All right, what have we got going on here? Okay, so we have six of cups, four of wands, seven of wands. Okay, let me take a moment to see what they say. <clears throat> There's definitely a celebration coming up for you. I don't know what it is. It could... I'm actually sensing a birthday. Whether that's your birthday or somebody else's. And... Or maybe it's a baby shower, possibly. But I'm feeling there's some kind of celebration where there are gifts at hand. Um... But then the Seven of Wands. What is going on there? I feel like I need to pull another card for the Seven of Wands. Okay, so the High Priestess. Okay. Sorry guys, just give me a moment because I really like to tune into the energy of the cards to see what it is that I'm getting. So there's definitely a celebration with gifts at hand, but it's almost like maybe it's a surprise and you're just not liking that it's a surprise. <laughs> you want to you wanna know what's going on with the high... Yeah, okay, I get it. You want to know what's going on. <laughs> you want in. Maybe it's a hens, a birthday, a baby shower, a marriage. But you're being kept in the dark about something and you don't like it. I get a feeling that you don't really like surprises. But this person is surprising you. There's, Or maybe it's like... A secret engagement. Maybe you're about to be proposed to soon. I don't know. But you just want to know the ins and outs of what is happening. Maybe you're being taken away for the weekend. And you want to know where you're going. Or for the day. Yeah. But it's something to celebrate. For sure. Maybe it's like an anniversary that's coming up. And this person is surprising you with something. But you just. Yeah. You don't like being kept in the dark. You don't. You're not. A surprise person you don't like it and you just want to know what's going on 
Yeah, I think that's what's going on. <laughs> Let's get some more cards for you. Let's get some more oracle cards to get more insight on the situation. Okay. Right, so we've got four cards here. Resilience. And then we got self-reliance. Resilience and reliance. Wow. <laughs> Archangel Raphael, prov provider of healing your mind, body, and spirit. Wow. Okay, this is all about the inner you. This got to do all about the inner you and confrontation pick your battles wisely doesn't that make sense you're getting a bit defensive you're not liking it but pick your battles don't worry about it it's a surprise this person loves you they love you whoever it is that's surprising you gift giving you giving you something don't bother with trying to find out what it is allow it to happen just this person is just trying to love you. <laughs> but I get it. You're just not, you just don't like surprises. You just don't like being kept in the dark. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Um, Self-reliance. So, and then we've got resilience. Rise above tribulations. Yeah, so rise above resilience. So I don't feel like, but anyway, so we've got it next to self-reliance i think you're gonna have to need some more dis self-discipline with whatever's going on with this i just don't feel like it's worth the argument i think just allow it to happen the way it's going to happen i feel like this person knows you and has your best interest you know you don't always have to do it on your own all the time you don't always have to have the you know the ins and outs and have complete control the situation all um all the time you can allow things to you can allow other people to do things for you archangel raphael pro provider of healing your for mind body and spirit so that just work ties in with these two cards here okay um just free your mind of what's happening in the next coming week okay just allow it to happen i know it's really hard to think um, to try and not think about it, but you're only doing your, you're only hurting yourself by wanting to take control of the situation. Pick your battles, okay? Pick your battles. Um, I feel like what is happening is something that is good, and you just, you need to. I feel like you may. Oh, sorry, I can. Oh gosh. Sorry, I knocked my camera over. Um, just allow people to surprise you. They have your best interests at heart. And as I say, you may be a bit of a control freak. Um, so maybe just let that go this week a little bit. Because whatever's going on, it's all out of pure love. Okay. It's all out of love. Um, but maybe I feel like this other person is a surprise, but they love to surprise you. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. Okay, so I was just about to say, um, maybe let this person know that you just aren't a person for surprises. I'm feeling like this person loves to surprise you and it annoys you every single time. Um... But this card is saying surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. So this person likes to surprise you and you don't like surprises. So it's a complete opposite. Um, but I think you just need to surrender to it because <clears throat> gift giving is this person's love language. And you just need to understand that. And he also needs to understand... Um, I mean, he needs to understand what you like and you need to understand what he likes. But it, that's just his love language. He just, this person, this could be friends, it could be a partner, whoever. They, their love language is gift giving. So I think when you start to accept that, it will be a lot 
easier for you. Maybe this is something that you have to work on yourself is trying to let go of trying to control, let go of trying to control the situation. Okay. This is all out of love. <laughs> I know this, this reading is coming across as a bit harsh, but it's all out of love. It really is. Surrender to the sweetness. Ah, love it. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So Venus energy. So Venus is all about feminine energy. So this person, this partner of yours has a bit of feminine energy to them. It, they're not all, you're, I'm feeling you have a lot more masculine energy compared to your partner. It doesn't matter if this partner is a guy. He definitely just has a lot more feminine energy and is really in touch more with their emotions and you're not. <laughs> So, surrender to the sweetness. So, he really is just wanting to provide you with the best things. Make make you feel loved in the way that he likes to feel loved. So, I'm guessing that this person likes to give surprises, which means they he would love or she would love for you to surprise them with certain things. So, just surrender to the sweetness. Surrender to the love that they are sharing with you because that is their love language. That is what they like to do. All right, let's get you self-care. Okay, good. Take a walk. So I'm feeling like this is a trip somewhere. I'm feeling like you're celebrating whatever it is, a, um, an anniversary. Um, maybe you're having your baby shower somewhere. It's some kind of celebration, a hen's night, where you're going away. And this card just says, take a walk, which means um, go on the journey. Go away and just surrender to wherever it is that they're taking you. You don't have to know. Um, they will give you all the deets. So just do it. <laughs> Sorry, it's so harsh. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, the card fell on the floor. So this is my goddess Isis uh, deck. Isis is an Egyptian goddess. And there is magic in these cards. These cards fly out of the deck every single time. Chariot of Ascension, Merkaba. Okay, a spiritual practice has come or is coming to your attention that will help your soul journey. Take your time to develop and practice your chosen spiritual discipline regularly. So this is <laughs> this is perfect. So this is all about releasing the control, release the control of expectations, release. Just release the control. Take a breath. Release. <laughs> you don't have to know everything all the time. It's okay. Take your time to develop and practice your chosen spiritual discipline regularly. So your partner, <laughs> who is this gift giver, is definitely your self-discipline. This is definitely a person that you will have no choice but to practice regularly of um, relieving that control. This could be a new person coming into your life. You've only just started dating them and they're just, they're, there's like that connection straight away, but he just wants to love you so much. And you're just like, whoa, like, oh, this is not, not how I normally do things. I'm a lone wolf. I like to take control of the situation. Um, so this person is definitely naturally, organically going to, to make you have this self-discipline on a regular basis. <laughs> Sorry to say. This will help you grow in power and grace, anchoring the spiritual light within the body of your soul. When you release absolute control, then doors start opening, magic starts happening in your life. Okay, releasing control 
and being in the unknown. I understand that is scary. I have been through that myself, going through the dark night of the soul. Um, but there is so much light at the end of the tunnel. I now love not knowing what's going to happen next. I love it. I love being in the unknown now. And I understand how scary it was. I had a bit of anxiety and I don't normally get anxiety, but I get it. But releasing control allows the universe to do its thing for you. Wings of Isis. You guys, you have a spiritual special spiritual relationship that's a tongue tire with the angelic worlds so as i was just saying when you release control universe is then allowed to do its thing you know there are spirit guides there are angels and they can help you through every single thing from the littlest question they are there but you have to surrender and release control Part of your soul purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness. I already feel like you have the fearlessness down pat in the way of you know what you want because you are in such control of your life that you have things down pat in what you want to achieve and whatnot. But you need to be fearless in the way of letting go of that control. Um, and daily consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle also brings you angelic assistance, intervention, and confirmation too. So this could be confirmation that this person in your life, if it is friendship, um, a relationship, that this person is here to serve you for your highest good. You're supposed to definitely learn something with this person in your life, and that is releasing the control. Okay. All right, let's get on to your channeled message. So I do automatic writing. I channel this through my guides. It can go from one word to a whole paragraph. It's just whatever comes through. Okay, so we have utilize your time well. I really feel like the second channel's channeled message was really meant for you. Because <laughs> that was all about being spontaneous. Uh, but utilize your time well. Which I'm getting the feeling that you possibly do but utilize your time well so when this person does take you away embrace it like love that time where you have to yourself where you're not thinking about work when you're not thinking about what's ahead for you don't think about what you have to do next week utilize your time well i know that's really saying oh like you know you have to Spare every single moment of your day acquiring knowledge or reading a book or doing what needs to be done. But sometimes utilize your time well in your circumstance means that when you have that time off, use that time well to release your stress, release your concerns, release your mind thinking 24-7 about what you have to do next. I love that. My spirit guys definitely just channeled that through me right now. <laughs> that was not me. Um, that was amazing. I love it. Cool. Okay, group three, that is your message for today. Um, if you haven't yet, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will subscribe. Sorry, I said subscribed. Um, <laughs> I will see you in the next tarot reading.